Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install a Game Boy Advance emulator onto your PS Vita. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the link in the description. It's the Google Drive page. Once you're on there, all you want to do is just download the emulator. Once it's finished downloading, head over to your downloads folder. From here what you want to do is just right click and then extract here. You must have WinWAR or 7-zip to do this. So once it's extracted you can just close out of everything. Now what you want to do is just double click QCMA, you should have this installed already. And once it's open, you can just go ahead and go to the settings on there. From there, you just want to click browse on applications slash backups. Then you want to go into P save data, uh, whatever your number is. And in here, it will show where you put all your emulators. So head back over to your downloads folder and simply copy over the emulator to that file folder. Right guys, so now you just want to connect your PS Vita to your PC, so go ahead and turn it on. You want to scroll down and just go into Content Manager, then you want to head over to Copy Content. Now you, what you want to do is just connect it using the USB cable. Okay, so this is the last part on your PC, all you have to do is go to QCMA, right click and do Refresh Database. Right guys, so once it's connected, it's just going to come up with this screen. Right guys, so what you want to do, you just want to do copy content from PC to PS Vita. Then go scroll to applications. Then scroll down to PSP slash other. This is where you can find it. So as you can see, it's got a picture of a Game Boy Advance. So you just want to do the tick box on it and then do copy. You just want to press OK. So if you guys are having any problems with connecting to um, the content manager, basically what you need to do is watch my previous video um, where I show you guys how to bypass stuff without updating to 3.68. Alright guys, so once that's copied across, you can just do cancel. Um, go back a few times and then just back out to your home screen. You can now close Content Manager. Right guys, so now I'm on my PS Vita, it is now disconnected from my computer. What you want to do, you want to go ahead and just start up VHBL. So just tap on it and then click Start. Just give it a few seconds to load everything. Now as you can see, we're on the home menu and the Game Boy um, emulator right down here GBM emulator has come up so just press X to start it then it will see um, G GPSP so you just want to press X on that right guys so once the emulator starts up it's just gonna look something like this um, you might think um, this thing looks kind of weird but what you want to do you just want to use the d-pad right over here scroll down to GBA just press X on that then scroll down again and press X on ROM so here are all your ROMs to get back on the list you just press the d-pad left now you can pretty much select anything you want, so Legends of Zelda, just press um, X to run it, it's going to load up the game. As you can see the game just starts up as normal, and you can just play it, the game runs full speed um, at 60fps, you can actually turn on 60fps counter, but everything is 100% playable. Um, Game Boy Advance games run really well on the Game Boy on the PS Vita, which is really cool. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.